So in Linux, a shell refers to a program that interprets the commands we type in our terminal program or emulator. Now if you're a Power Linux user, no doubt you've used a shell in some capacity in the past. Now there's several shells available in Linux, such as the Born shell, also known as SSH, the C shell, also known as CSH, TC shell, TCSH, the Corn shell, also known as KSH, and the Born Again shell, also known as Bash. Now, in this course, we're going to be working with the Bash shell only. Now, the Bash shell is very popular in the developer community, so we chose it for that reason. But with that said, you should be able to use another shell with minimal changes to what you see me doing in this video. So let's swing over now to the uh, to Linux and uh, start uh, making some changes. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is open a shell. Uh, terminal window, so I'm going to come up here and uh, select Terminal. Or I could have typed it into the window there, but just in the middle of the screen. And I'm going to type CD tilde to make sure that I'm in the home folder. And I can type PWD to confirm that I'm in the home folder, which I am for this user. And what I'm going to do now is uh, download a file that uh, configures the command prompt to make it really convenient for Git users so we can sort of see what's happening when we navigate through the various folders. So we're going to download that by typing curl, C-U-R-L, space, minus, a capital O, space, H-T-T-P-S, colon, forward slash, forward slash, raw dot, github, usercontent.com slash git slash git slash master slash contrib slash completion and then finally git dash prompt dot sh and press enter there and it's only a quick uh, or a very small file so it should uh, download quite quickly and you can see that it's actually already downloaded now what we need to do is we need to uh, edit a file so that uh, this particular script is invoked and started every time we open a shell. Because we're using bash, the uh, file that we want to edit is bashrc. So we're going to type in vi space dot bashrc. And I don't need to specify the folder with the tilde because we've already figured out that we're in the home folder. So I press enter there now. Now, depending on your Linux uh, configuration, that this file may be empty or you may have what like you can see in this case, a heap of uh, commands. So in the case of uh, no commands, you can just press the I and start typing. But in my case, I want to go down to the end of the file. So I'm just going to move down to the bottom of the file, very last line, so that we're not affecting anything else that's running on this machine. Then I'm going to press the dollar sign, press A, and press Enter. And that means that uh, we can now start typing and anything we're typing is going and being going to be added to the end of the file. Then I'm going to type the dot space tilde forward slash git dash prompt dot sh. So that's the command that is going to invoke that script every time the terminal is opened. Now we need to type in a couple of export lines. So export git and need to type this, making sure you've got the same case and you've typed it exactly this way. Git underscore ps1 underscore show dirty state. Oops, underscore there. Show dirty state equals one. And then export. Now this one's a bit of a mouthful. So I'm just going to type it. Oh, say that I'm typing it. So export ps1 equals single quote, left square bracket, backslash lowercase u, the at sign backslash lowercase h, the space, backslash w and the dollar sign, left parentheses, underscore, underscore git, underscore ps1, space, and then a double quote, space, left parentheses, percent s and right parentheses, the double quote, the right parentheses, the right square bracket, the backslash, the dollar sign, a space and a single quote. Now in terms of the file that I downloaded, and also this command, they're both available uh, as uh, a resource, or in the resources section of this video. So it means that if you don't want to type it or you're not sure, you can just go and grab it. It's in a text file, and then you can just sort of copy it and copy and paste it rather than having to type it and make sure you get it uh, identical to what I've done. All right, so press enter there, and press escape. Press the colon key and X. And that means to save. So X means to make to save uh, to save the changes. So now if I type in cat space dot bashrc, 
is right down the bottom and it showed the whole file in my case, but right down the bottom is the three commands that I added. Now, there's probably no point you needing to know what all those commands meant with the backslash u and backslash h, etc. What we've really done is we've configured the command line prompt so that it's very intuitive and gives us the information we need when we're using git. So you'll see that working a little bit later in the course. For now though, I'm going to type exit to close down the terminal. I'm going to actually open another one up again. And notice how the uh, command prompt has changed a little bit. We've got these square brackets. And as we start using Git, we'll find that that shows us uh, things in a various order that makes sense to us as Git users. But more on that in future videos. For now though, what I'll do is I'll swing over to a slide just to give you a sample of what this is going to look like. All right, so once we get going in future videos, what you're seeing on the screen is a sample of what you can expect to see in Bash when using Git. Now this screenshot is actually from the Windows Git Bash terminal, but to what you'll see on Linux will be very similar to this. So things there like uh, the Git branch name, the repository, the status, the host name, etc. We'll talk about this in a lot more detail in future videos. For now what we've done though is we've configured our system so that it will show this information when we're at the stage of actually using it, needing to use it. Alright, so at this point now the uh, your Linux machine has been configured, so I'll see you in the next video.